So it's winter and you decided to get into snowboarding. What is up everybody? This is Brandon with Working Class Active. And on this video, I'm gonna go into the top five things I feel that you need while taking up snowboarding. Here are five important things that you need while getting into snowboarding. Now this is not in any particular order. Let's start it up. Number one, a helmet. Now, although some people don't feel that helmets look good, it is definitely more important to protect your head. There's many companies out there that make snow specific helmets. My family and I have been wearing burn helmets since getting into snowboarding. They're comfortable, they look good, and the biggest thing, you have a better chance of protecting your head. Number two, snowboarding gloves or mittens. The last thing you wanna do is try learning snowboarding and skiing without keeping your hands warm and dry. I tend to wear snowboard mittens because they keep my hands a lot warmer. There are a lot of different companies and options when it comes to gloves. My personal favorites, Howl and 686. Number three, a decent pair of snow pants. Now, once again, there's many options when it comes to snow pants. Most companies have waterproof ratings when it comes to their pants, usually starting at 5K, 10K, 15K, 20K, and Gore-Tex. The higher the rating, the more waterproof, but that also comes with the price. My personal favorite snow pants are from the company 686. Number four, goggles. Now you have to protect your eyes from the elements and injury. Goggles will protect you from long periods of wind and bright sunlight. Goggles also protect you from cold air and the better brands will have lenses that block UV light. Now, if you can't get your hands on a pair of decent goggles, just wear sunglasses. The most important thing is protecting your eyes. Number five, snowboarding socks. These are normally taller socks that are made out of specific materials designed to wick moisture away from your feet and keep them warm. Now since snowboarding, I've been wearing quite a few different companies when it comes to snowboard socks, but my favorites so far have definitely been Volcom and Stance. Here's a few bonus things that I feel are good to have, but not necessary right away. Impact shorts. These are definitely padded shorts that are gonna protect your behind and protect your hips when you're falling on ice. Are they important right away? Eh, not necessarily, but they definitely do help. So it's one thing you can think about for the future of your riding. Waterproof ski and snowboard jackets. Just like the snow pants, they have waterproof ratings also. Once again, the higher the rating, usually definitely comes with the price. Now, the reason I didn't say go out and get that right away, honestly, some type of warm top will do, a sweatshirt, a jacket, whatever you can do to kind of keep yourself warm while you're learning. Now, this definitely depends on where in the states you live because some states are just definitely wetter than others. But keep that in mind, Depending on where you live, you may want to have a snowboard ski jacket right away. Some type of face mask, head covering of balaclavas. Now, I tend to wear the balaclavas a lot because I have a shaved head and I definitely don't want to burn. So that protects my head. Yes, black people do burn. I have definitely learned that being on the snow. Your face mask, balaclavas, or head coverings definitely keep you warm, they keep you protected from the elements, and they keep you dry. Now there's some obvious things I definitely didn't say you need it right away in this video. One being a snowboard, another being snowboard boots. Those are obviously important. But the thing is, when it comes to just learning or just getting into the sport, you might want to just go with renting those until you know that you're ready to take up snowboarding. And the last thing you wanna do is spend a bunch of money on something that you're only gonna use once. With that being said, if you haven't purchased your snowboarder boots yet, just rent them. There's definitely a lot of places out there close to the ski resorts where you can rent your boots and boards for a decent price until you're ready to go out and buy your own. Think about that and if you really get into it, then go get your board and your boots. I hope this list that I put together helped you. And if you have any questions, drop it in the comments and I'll hit you back. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe, press that like button, and press that bell to be alerted when new videos come out. And follow me on Instagram at Working Class Active. Have a great week, you guys. Stay blessed. Peace out.